Charles Oliveira shared his opinion about the upcoming fight with Islam Makhachev, in which the Brazilian will try to regain the championship belt. I'm going to his house, where they wanted to fight and where they think they can beat me, I know I'm the biggest problem in the division. All the guys that Islam fought were drummers, and he translated them, and I went to the exchange with each of my opponents and translated them only after I shook them in the rack. This time, Islam will have to fight the division's biggest challenge, Charles Oliveira. Want to start the fight on the ground? No problem, I'm ready to start it in the guard. For me there is no difference. If you want to fight in the standing position, I am ready to demonstrate the firepower of my fists. If you want to take me down, do it. Islam knows something about standing, but it relies on translations. All of his opponents were drummers who were afraid of being down, but that doesn't scare me. Islam is too focused on what it needs to do, but I do not feel any pressure, I am 100% ready to resist it in any aspect. I hold the record for the most submission wins in UFC history and I have firepower in my hands. Do you want war? War is coming. October 22nd I will be ready. I will beat this guy. Listen to me, I will leave behind a gigantic legacy. The octagon is the same everywhere, on the street, in the favela, in Abu Dhabi and anywhere else. When the cell door closes, only we will remain inside. I have respect for Islam, its history and achievements, but we must look at things realistically, evaluating those with whom I fought and those with whom he fought. This is a different level of competition, I'm much better than him and I'm ready to demonstrate it. Jake Paul reacted to the news that in the last fight under the current contract with the UFC, Nate Diaz will fight Kamzat Chimaev. Trust me, I'll bet my money on Nate Diaz defeating the fake Khabib. Today, representatives of the organization officially announced that the welterweight fight between Kamzat Chimaev and Nate Diaz will be the main event of the UFC 279 tournament, which will be held on September 10 in Las Vegas. The fight will be Diaz's last on his current contract with the UFC, and if the organization fails to secure a new deal with him, there is a high chance that he could have a boxing match with Paul, who has long challenged him in the ring. Sean O'Malley commented on the news of his next showdown, with Peter Yang. I believe that Peter is better at what we are going to do, namely, in a fight. I am better than Peter, sincerely believe in this, and this faith will help me to do my job. I will enter the octagon in a better readiness than Peter and just do what I have to do. Obviously turning off the lights for Petra would be great. Three rounds of five minutes against the best dude I've ever faced. I am delighted with this opportunity and I have no doubt that on October 22nd I will be better than Petter Yang. Benil Dariush is sure that their fight with Gamrot is not just included in one card with the title confrontation in their weight. According to him, the winner of their fight will fight the winner of the title fight between Charles Oliveira and Islam Makhachev. This is a candidate's fight, the winner will fight for the belt. I am definitely satisfied with the organization of this fight. I just want to fight the best, said Dariush. The winner is fighting for the title, Gamrot confirmed the words of his opponent. Another candidate for a lightweight title fight is reigning UFC featherweight champion Alexander Volkanovsky, who plans to challenge the winner of the fight, Oliveira Makhachev. Petter Yang opened as the favorite in the fight with Sean O'Malley. At the moment, the coefficient for the victory of the Russian is 1. 244, while Sean's success is estimated at 4. 3. The bookmakers released the starting odds shortly after O'Malley spoke to ESPN about the setup of the fight. It is worth noting that Sean O'Malley will fight as an underdog for the first time in his career. Both fighters in previous fights could not win, Petter Yang lost a split decision in the unification match to Aljamain Sterling, and the fight between Sean O'Malley and Pedro Munoz was declared invalid due to the fact that the American poked his opponent in the eye, and he could not continue the meeting. Valentina Shevchenko is not going to fight the winner of the bantamweight title fight between Juliana Pina and Amanda Nunes. To fight at bantamweight now, I need to build big muscles. I have to work on getting bigger and then getting smaller again to move down to flyweight. I really don't see any reason to do this. Give me some big reasons, big fights, or whatever. Because at the moment I don't see it happening. I think next fight I will fight in the flyweight division, where I will defend my title. To be honest, I can't say that I seriously thought about it. First, let's see how it all ends, how their fight goes, and what they want to do. At the moment I feel comfortable, I am satisfied with my weight, body, and everything that I have, without the need for additional cutting or weight gain. I would like to stay healthy and continue my journey. Kamzat Chimaev, representing Sweden in the octagon, made it clear that he clearly shares such concepts as place of residence and homeland. We are athletes, each of us is a patriot of our motherland. 
Lately, everyone has been interfering with sports and politics. We stand for the country where we live, but I am proud of my motherland and I know that my motherland is proud of me and supports me. Petter Yang left a message for his future rival Sean O'Malley. My fists will speak for me, the Russian fighter wrote on social networks, commenting on the announcement of the fight. UFS card 279 joined the fight of two light heavyweights Johnny Walker and Ion Kutsalaba. Johnny Walker, 30, has won just one win in his last five bouts and is currently on a two-loss streak, losing via unanimous decision to Thiago Santos and knockout to Jamal Hill. Ion Kutsalaba, 28, has also won only one of his last five fights, and this time he returns to the octagon after losing by guillotine choke to Ryan Spann. Zabera Tukug, who was eliminated from the UFC on ESPN 40 due to visa issues, will fight his next fight on October 22 at UFC 280 in Abu Dhabi. This was announced by his friend Khabib Nurmagomedov. Received a contract to fight the 22nd of October. Abu Dhabi UFC 280, wrote Khabib, noting Tukug. It is not yet known who will become Tukug's rival.